Have you ever felt lost as an artist? Like you are not good enough, that everybody else is doing better than you? Me too. <laughs> hey, my name is Angie and I want to share with you my 8 tips for beginner artists on how to start and keep on creating. So let's get into it. My tip number one. Don't compare your beginnings to somebody else's middle. We as artists so often fall into this trap of comparison, right? We see others creating wonderful art, being successful, having big audiences following their art and admiring their art, just to realize you're not even close to being half as good as they are. And things get even worse when we find out they are even younger than we are and already like thousand times better and more successful. But what we often overlook is the way that took them where they are. Everybody's story is different, right? Somebody might have been practicing daily for hours and some maybe just have very little free time on weekends to practice their art. Some might be studying art at schools, universities for many years and some may use YouTube tutorials. I mean, there's so many things that make each of our journeys unique that there's really no reason to compare. <laughs> yes, you can look to others for artistic inspiration or motivation, but the only person you should compare yourself with is your own past self. And this brings us to my tip number two. Don't get discouraged when starting something new. Whether that be a new medium or new topic, it does take time to perfect any skill. And it takes tons of failed drawings, failed paintings, anything, to be able to create this one that you will actually be satisfied with. And it might look like some people just get it perfect right away without even trying. <laughs> but more often than not, people just don't like to share their failures and what went wrong. So if you don't see them, it doesn't mean they aren't there. Everybody makes mistakes, everybody fails sometimes, it's just part of the process. So when you're feeling discouraged, just think that nothing worthwhile comes easy. You just gotta work for it. Which pushes us tip number three. Practice. Yes, you gotta practice a lot and I mean it. The key to any growth is practice. If you want it, you gotta commit to it. There's no way around it. Tip number four. Draw what you like to draw. The best way to turn your art practice into a habit is to do something that you actually like, actually enjoy. Something that brings you joy or some kind of comfort because if you like it you won't feel like it's forced on you you just do what you like right now when you get more comfortable in what you're doing and you've created this art habit for yourself it's good to challenge yourself to try something a little different just to broaden your skills and here don't forget what we've talked about in our tip number two you might not love it right away especially when you're just starting and you're not good at it. But push through it just to feel the satisfaction of not giving up and eventually getting results. The next tip, tip number five, use references. I don't know where that this idea come from that there's something wrong in using references, especially for somebody who's just starting out with art. So let me tell you, there is nothing wrong in using references. That's how you learn. <laughs> Do you know how those big masters are able to draw or paint something from their head? Because they used thousands of references in their life before. <laughs> they simply studied from them pictures or life objects. There was always something they looked at carefully and tried to understand. Then only after years of such practice you might have reached enough base in your head from studying those references 
to be able to actually draw something from your head. But even then, you probably want to use references for some other parts. So just use references, learn from them, and that's it. That's how it works. There is really no shame in that. Tip number six, don't focus on numbers. I see people focusing on that way more than they should. How many followers I have, how many likes I have, how many likes my art get. I know these numbers can have big power, they can be helpful, but when they get too much of our attention, that becomes a problem. But the truth is, those numbers are there to work for us, not we for them. We really shouldn't depend ourselves on some mysterious algorithms, right? That everybody's trying to break. Eventually, it's your content and your value that you want to share with people is what counts, not numbers. Those will come in their time. Tip number seven, very important tip. Not everybody needs to like your art and you should be fine with that. It's like if somebody told you they don't like apples, what would you think? Would you think badly about this person or about this apple? <laughs> Probably not. Especially that there are other people who would say they love apples and they are like best fruits ever, you know. <laughs> Does this then change anything about apples? And what about this person? Is he right or wrong? People simply have different tastes, therefore different opinions. It's just impossible for everybody like everything the same way, right? Tip number eight, remember about your why. This is something you really need to remember during your whole art journey, especially for the moments when you feel like it all just doesn't make sense, like you're just not good, you're not getting anywhere, you feel stuck, uh, like you don't see any improvement, everybody is doing great, but not you. Just when you get those thoughts, Try to remember, why did you actually start doing art? What was that? What was that that made you think of trying art? Was art your way to relax, to cut off from the world? Was it your way to express your feelings? Or maybe you had a message you wanted to communicate with the world through art? Or it simply brings you joy and satisfaction that you could make something so special, so unique with your own hands. There can be so many reasons that got you into art and you know your why. You just need to hold on to it and keep on creating. So that would be it, my eight tips for beginner artists on how to start and keep on creating. But before you go, I think I must tell you one last thing, let it be bonus tip, okay? So the tip is just start. <laughs> yes, just start. It might sound silly, but it is what it is. You just have to start. Don't overthink it. Watching hundreds tutorial and scrolling through whole Instagram, Pinterest and whatever in search of inspiration won't give you anything unless you actually sit and pick up this pen, pencil, brush or whatever and actually just start. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can. Enough excuses. Okay, I think that's really it for now. I really hope that you enjoyed it, that you got some value out of those tips. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, maybe there is one tip that you like the most or maybe you have some other tips that you want to share so please do and i really thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye